Hey YouTube, Willie Man here. We've got a new update of the latest software version for Tesla. We are looking at software version 2020.8.2. Check out these uh, release notes here. What's new? We've got third party charging stations. So in addition to showing all of the Tesla supercharging stations, you'll now be able to locate third party charging stations in your area. Next up, we've got uh, Bluetooth improvement. As you enter the car, uh, your car will not sync with your phone via Bluetooth until it actually detects you in the seat. We've got improved voice command reliability. Check that out and see how we can figure out what that does. Okay, so I pulled up the map of the Bay Area here. Click the supercharging options Down here, and let's click charging. All right, there we go. So it's pulling up all the charging locations. And again, it just shows Tesla up here. And these, so these must all be Tesla charging stations. Let's see, oh, there you go. You scroll down and you finally see other charging stations. Got hotels. Uh, hotels, hotels, uh, looks like these are mainly hotels that they have listed in the Bay Area. So we've got our letters, A, B, C for Tesla ones, and then we've got gray letters for non-Tesla supercharging stations. So you can see them here on the map, Mountain View. Uh, you've got gray third-party charging stations as well as Tesla charging station. So there we go. There's a red one, East Palo Alto. And then if we click on one of the gray ones, Park James Hotel, shows you the number of connectors, the max charging speed available, and any other additional information available for customers. Please see front desk. Also address, phone number, let you know, uh, you can call them, check out their website, navigate directly to, Looks like they've got restrooms, places to eat, drink. You can do some shopping and there's Wi-Fi available at this location. Pretty cool stuff. Tesla superchargers are pretty convenient. So this might help on the occasion when you are in dire need and you have failed to plan accordingly. And uh, there might be a third party charging station that's closer before you get to absolute zero. Also, it's nice to know because most of them are hotels. Uh, you know, you can pick a nice place to stay that, you know, will actually have a, a supercharging there for you. So. It's nice to have that additional information if you're stopping in town or visiting from out of town that you know where you can stay and also charge. So that is nice instead of having to wake up or go to the supercharging station or uh, go the night before you go to sleep. So that is, that's, that's a nice feature. Okay, now let's try the improved voice recognition here. Let's go ahead and just tap the Pull up the camera. And there you go, camera pulls up. Let's try something else. Set temperature to 72 degrees. There you go. It definitely seems to be uh, quicker to respond. There were times when I would press that button and it would take 10 seconds before it recognized that I had pressed the button, before it would beep to actually allow me to speak my command. So I definitely see a big improvement. That was something that was certainly lacking. Toggle on radio. Okay, there's a few things that are still limited, but not too bad. All right, so that is the review of the latest uh, software update from Tesla. Let me know if there are any other features that you wanna check out in the comments below. Please like and subscribe. Thanks again. Have a good day, everyone.